हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू कोडिंग शिक्षा सो टुडे इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल आई विल बी बिल्डिंग ए वेरी कूल लिटिल डेस्कटॉप एप्लीकेशन विद द हेल्प ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन डॉट जे एस एंड इलेक्ट्रॉन इज ए वेरी गुड फ्रेमवर्क फॉर बिल्डिंग क्रॉस प्लेटफॉर्म डेस्कटॉप एप्लीकेशन विद द हेल्प ऑफ वेब टेक्नोलॉजी सच एज एच टी एल सी एस एस एंड जावा स्क्रिप्ट सो दिस इज ए कूल लिटिल एप्लीकेशन वी विल बी बिल्डिंग दिस इज अडिंग यू कैन सी दैट दिस इज द इमेज एंड दिस इज अ बटन हेयर सो इफ आई क्लिक दिस बटन you will see a random image will be generated this is the name of this person and all this data is fetched from an api that i will be telling you in this tutorial so if i toggle the developer tools you will see in the background that one image has been returned and you can see the results array here this is there in the json format and then we are just passing this json in the application so you can see the picture here this is a url and also this name here first and last name so we are fetching this information from that so we are making use of some jquery here for sending some ajax request to the api and then displaying the data so let's start making this application from scratch i am using visual studio code you can use any code editor of your choice so let's just make a simple electron application for this you will require electron and node.js installed onto your computer just make a new electron app, uh, project and uh, as you know in electron there are three files mainly the index.html and this is the main.js so basically in this file i am just importing the require uh, electron framework and uh, basically i am just creating a browser window so this is all the boilerplate code that comes with electron when you create a project this is the width and height of the window and we are just making sure that we are including node modules by making this property true that is node integration in the web preferences property lastly we are uh, loading the url that is index.html file in our window so that we can access this index.html file in the window so this is a method that is used load url in that we are passing url dot format passing the full path name that is it is there in the app dot index dot html and when the app is ready we are calling this function that is create window that's it so this is all the main dot js code and in the index dot html let me delete all the code and start from scratch so let me just delete all this code here uh the background is blue so you can see that it has all gone here and also renderer.js let me also delete this code here as well so we will start from scratch so for this you should be having bootstrap bin.css just grab the cdn that is content delivery network from any website include it and secondly we are using some google fonts so you can use google fonts if you want to style your application it is not it is not necessary for this application so now in the body first of all we have a heading here so the heading is random password generator so let me just write here sorry random user generator so let me just style this a little bit text align to center and also make the text color to white so if i look in the browser here you can see that and let me also change the font size a little bit to 45 pixel and the font family to this font here franklin got him this font that i have imported so if i refresh here you can see that the font has changed and the font size is also changed let me make this font a little bit higher 65 pixel so you can see that after that in the top let me have some break tags so that some space is there two break tags so you can see that now i will be having uh, uh, my image here so after this heading we will be having a break tag and after that i will be attaching the image 
I have this image here user.png this image I am using so if I attach this image you will see this image appearing here so now to make it in the center of the screen I will be uh, attaching some styles let me have some margin from the left position uh, 265 pixel now if I reload it is there in the center so that's it now lastly we will be having a button here so button it it will be having a bootstrap class of btn btn danger this will be in the red color generate that's it if I refresh it you will see that this is a button to make it in the center again we will be attaching a style property of margin left 265 pixel so you can see that let me also have some more break tags so that so you can see that let me have some more margin so that it comes in the center 285 pixel uh, let me have 325 so this is looking good now guys the user interface is complete let me give some IDs to the, uh, to it to the image so that we can hide the image whenever you, you click the button so let me just give this ID image and let me give an ID to the button that is BTN that's it so this completes the index.html file now coming on to the renderer.js first of all we will be importing jquery I have installed jquery by using npm install jquery I am using node package manager here so that is why I have installed jquery from that so first of all importing jquery and now I will target the button passing the id btn and uh, on click so whenever whenever we click the button we need to execute this callback function first of all we want to hide the image so the id that I have given that is image so there is a function of jquery that is hide so it will actually hide the image so now if I click this button you will see that the image is gone it is being hidden so secondly we need to make a get request to the API that we will be using so now let me just show you what is the API that we will be using so the link is there in the description you can go to that API I have opened this API so this is the API random user dot me so this is a website you can go to this website and very simple API you don't want to do anything wrong here so this is all the code that is there there are many <coughs> endpoints that you can have you can request multiple users you can also request users based upon their gender all that stuff you can read the API but I will be using that this endpoint which will generate only one user so this will generate one user at a time so if I paste this code here so we are just making a Ajax request to this endpoint that is https random user dot me slash api and here I can just provide some arguments here so if I drag down here so this is the results parameter that you can provide here so in, the, in my case I will only be requesting one user at a time so results is equal to one so now if I go into the developer tools if I hit the generate button now you will see that there is a object that is being returned now if we look into the results array this is the array you can see that so in this we have the picture property and we have the name property now we need these two things and want to display it first of all coming back to the index.html after this image tag we need to have a div which will be holding the results so give it the id of results and we will be appending the results into this div by using jquery so 
but in this case we need to append the result for that I will be making a new variable of result backslash you can see that this is not a single quotes this is backdash it is there on the uh, above tab keyword on the keyboard so just it helps us to write string literals so first of all I will be having image tag the source will be data dot results sorry this will be there in the dollar symbol so curly brackets so this whole is a variable so we can get the image URL by data dot results so results is an array so only one element is present so we will be starting from zero uh, dot picture dot large so we are just making use of the API let me show you the response again so you can see that we are making use of results this is an array so it starts from zero now this picture property and picture dot large so in this way we are accessing this URL so that's it after this we will be attaching this source so if I append this by targeting the results here so I have given the results ID to it so dot HTML method I will use of jQuery to append it and pass here result so if I reload again here so if I press the generate button you will see that a image has been written so we are passing the image that is written from the API so now to make this image in the center what we can do we can have a style property and let me provide some custom dimensions to it uh, sorry the width of the image will be but first of all I need to style it so border radius I will make it 50% and also I will be styling one other property that is margin from the left this will be 265 pixel and also let me attach the width of the image to be 325 sorry 250 pixel and the height also to 250 pixel that's it so now if I look the image generate so now you can see that it is there in the open circular form it is rounded corners here and also it is appearing in the center that's it now we are just missing the name here so let me just append the name also so what we can do here is that we can press enter and it will append into multiple lines so after this we have a break tag so in the h3 adding I will write the name so again I will write dollar symbol curly brackets so in this I will access data dot results again this is the array so dot name dot first we are only printing the first name not last name so if I save this again so now you will see the name also you can see that to make it in the center let me assign a style property text align center also make the color to white that's it so now if I click generate you can see that this is the name Rick let me have some margin from the top so that it looks nice margin top is let's suppose 60 pixel that's it now if I hit uh, generate once again so you can see that the application is complete guys very simple application but uh, through this application you get to know about how to make HTTP request in uh, Electron how to call a basic API and display the results in Electron application 
and most of the guys uh, asked me that question that how to uh, disable this menu when you don't need this menu if you want to uh, produce the application at a production level then you want to hide this menu in some of the occasions so how you can achieve that it is very simple go to the main.js file and after that write this simple function on the window variable just call this function remove menu so it is there in uh, built-in method of uh, electron so just if you call this now you need to reload this once again so now if i relaunch the application np npm start now you will see that the menu will be removed so now you can see that the menu is removed so this is looking like a desktop application so thanks guys for watching this video if you like this video then please hit the like button please share this video with your friends and also subscribe the channel hit the notification bell icon i will be seeing you the next video until then thank you very much